Hey everyone, welcome to Secondhand Blasters, this is Normatico here, and today I'm actually going to be reviewing something pretty big, literally. So Hasbro a while back, they launched the Mega XL line with the Big Rig, the Boom Dozer, and the Double Crusher. Now, these are very large blasters, the name, Mega XL. Um, let's just put it this way, how large are they? The darts themselves are a little bit more than two times the size of the Mega Darts, which are, of course, double the size of the standard Elite Darts. So, I actually had a Boom Dozer at one point in time, which I donated to charity, only because of the fact that it just was not my thing. Um, but, the one that I really wanted was the Double Crusher. Lucky for me, I was actually able to find it on a clearance sale recently for $9.97, I went ahead and click order, and well, I have it here now to review for you. The Mega XL Double Crusher for a whopping $9 retail price on this thing was around $28 when it first was in the stores. Uh, so the Double Crusher itself, it does come with four of the Mega XL darts. It does come with a stock that actually holds two darts, and it holds two darts in the blaster itself. So the fact that Hasbro actually gave you four of these darts is a pretty cool thing. Um, it is a pump-action shotgun type blaster, so we're going to open up this box now, and we'll be right back so you can see just how big this bad boy is. All right, so we went ahead and took this thing out of the box, and let me tell you, this is a pretty chunky boy. Inside the box, you actually get the blaster itself, as well as four of the Mega XL darts. Now... Let's take a look at just how big this thing is. That is pretty beefy. By comparison, I happen to have one of the Elite darts right here. Look at that. I don't have a Mega Dart on me right now, but you could probably fit two Mega Darts inside of this sucker. Because there's two Elite Darts. This Elite Dart would actually fit inside of the back of a Mega Dart, and the Mega Dart can fit in the hole of this dart. So it's pretty huge. That's what she said. As I said, you do get the four darts, two that can fit inside this stock here, and two that go inside the blaster itself. Now, one thing I will point to the fact is that the blaster does have this really cool pattern on the actual casing itself. Uh, it looks like the Kool-Aid Man kind of broke out. Um, and you do have it on the other side as well. Uh, however, it is not painted because... Hasbro. Now, while it is cool looking, I'm not going to lie, one of the things that, as someone who actually enjoys painting the blasters to make them look different for cosplay purposes, that's going to require a lot of sanding or just some really good and creative resin work to cover that up. That said, it's not impossible. It's just a hassle. If you're just the type of person who just enjoys doing a quick little spray job on it, you're going to be stuck with that pattern because not only is it there on the Mega XL part, but you actually have it on the barrel itself. So, there you go. You do have the XL logo here on the stock, on the handle. Um, one thing I will say about the handle is that this is actually really comfortable. You know, this is a shotgun style handle and, and it feels good. And the stock, decent size, you know. You do have the one attachment here for a bandolier. And there is one down here as well. So that is the only way you can actually bandolier this thing is to sling it here over your shoulder. Of course, if you have a tactical sling, you could just probably sling it here on your chest and be perfectly fine. Um, it is not too heavy in spite of its size. Uh, and the priming, that's pretty smooth. Now, these darts, they do whistle, uh, which is actually kind of really cool, I'm not going to lie. That way when you launch it, it's just like, kind of almost like a missile going at somebody. So... I am curious as to just how this does on the chronograph. So, yeah. Let's do the chronograph test. Alright, so go ahead and launch six of these Mega XL darts through the chronograph. 
And not for the first time, I'm happy that I actually have a ballistics chronograph that's for archery and other things because these are going to be big. So we're back with the chronograph results, and as you can see, not built for speed. It's pretty self-explanatory. These are much larger than the Mega Darts, so I do not pretend for them to go as fast at all. Never, no way, no how, unless you were to somehow find a way to launch these with some sort of air compressor. Um, but be that as it may, for what you get, it's not bad. It is fun. Launching these things down the hallway, it's pretty amazing. Um, only because of the fact that you hear that whistling noise when they go by. And if you get smacked with a big old blue dart that looks like a flying blue hot dog, um, it's, it's kind of goofy and fun. And that is what this hobby is all about, is having fun. Is it always going to be about competitive blasters? No. And it shouldn't be. Because, let's be honest, those didn't exist when we were kids. The kids are going to love this one. I could definitely see an 8-year-old, a 9-year-old, even a 10-year-old having fun with this and just being goofy with it. Um, it is a fun gimmick. I, I, I am very happy that Hasbro released these. And it's mainly because it's just fun. It's a return back to what our hobby is all about, having fun. Now, is it worth the price point? So, when it was released, it broke over $30 for this one. Was it worth $30? I don't think I would have paid $30 for this. It is on clearance right now at $9.97. Yeah, that's definitely worth the, the price of admission. If you find it for $20, like you might be able to find it for some resellers on eBay. If you have a kid that you really want to, them to have fun and not have to worry about, oh my gosh, they're going to hurt somebody with their dart, this is the one to go with. Um, definitely go with this one. Do not worry about the big rig. Uh, that one has a priming handle that is just really badly designed. And for the price that that one is, it is absolutely not worth it. It is essentially a Mega XL Night Finder. The Boom Dozer, all right, you know, it's fun. I had one. Um, it doesn't go half as far as this one went, I'll be honest with you. Um, I think I maybe got three quarters of the way down my driveway with it, uh, whereas this one actually made it down all the way to the street uh, without a problem. So I prefer this one. The Boom Dozer, you can, of course, launch up to six darts at one time. This one only two before you have to reload. But with darts this big, um, first of all, you're not going to lose them. Second of all, they're pretty easy to reload. I mean, let's just to show you really fast here, you know, that quickly. You don't have to worry about fidgeting with anything. You don't have to worry about priming anything back like what you do with some of the rival blasters where you actually have to open up the loading hole and then put the ball in and you know it might fall out or the god awful hyper series where you have to pour the balls out of the container into the drum and lord knows if those are going to bounce around but this one's okay. It's okay. And at the clearance price that I was able to get this one at I recommend it, especially if you just want to have fun around the house. Um, in spite of the fact that the darts are so big, uh, you can actually use this indoors. It would be okay to do that, uh, if only for the fact that they don't travel as fast as other darts. Um, but I still wouldn't do it around any like fine china. Uh, if you have anything that is just on display on a nightstand somewhere, um, try to avoid that, obviously. But hallway battles, you should be just fine. 
So I want to thank you all again for watching Secondhand Blasters. I do want to remind you once again, as I do in almost every single one of my videos, that I am doing the Blaster giveaway. Once I hit 100 subs, I'm going to create a new video basically saying, hey, it's time to give away one of the Blasters. I actually now have more Blasters that are available. I guess Pixie's now playing with her little squeaker ball. Anyways, I have an Elite 2.0 Phoenix. I have an Elite 2.0 Turbine. Uh, I also have the Mega Mastodon uh, that I will be giving away. That one's not necessarily new inbox, uh, but it is very lovingly used and well taken care of. And who knows, I might have a rival to give away. But you won't know which one you're going to get until you win, and you can't win until you subscribe. So go ahead and give a like, hit a subscribe, and if you want to tell me what you think about the Double Crusher, go ahead and leave a comment. Uh, I do welcome any criticisms when it comes to my videos. If you think, hey, you need to do this, or hey, maybe you should try this blaster, um, please go ahead and leave a comment, and I will be sure to do my darndest to find that blaster, put up a video, and either say, hey, I love this one, or oh my god, this is horrible. I do challenge you to tell me bad blasters because I tend to like what other people don't and I tend to hate what some people love. Until next time, thank you for watching Secondhand Blasters. This is Normatico. Keep on blasting. <laughs>